Hello Underwater friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to use keyframes. First we're going to animate a PNG, then a text, and at the end I will show you how to color correct a scene that have different colors at the beginning and at the end. So the keyframes are actually a point where you want something to be or any transformation to apply to something. Here we're going to first apply some keyframes to this PNG, then we'll do it on a text and then we're going to see if we can do a color correction using keyframes with a clip that is not the same at the beginning and at the end. So let's start with the PNG. Here on the right we see many diamonds in the transform. So so that's actually all of the things where we can apply some keyframes. So let's say first we want to move from left to right for example. We can just here decide to change the position here and grab it like this. Or if you want to do it a little bit easier you can click here and then take this point and move this one out of the frame like so. And you see here, there is nothing happening on the keyframe. So you're going to have to, actually this one, I want it, I want it at zero because I don't want it up or down. And then we can validate this point. And here we have now a keyframe. Then I go at the end of my clip and I'm going to move it completely to the right. like this. So now let's see what's happening. It's starting to the left and going to the right in a normal motion but nothing very fancy or special. Let's say now we want it to start here, stop in the middle and then start again. What we can do, we can go where we want it to be at this time. So the transformation is going to go from here to here and then we can go on position again and we just double click on it and everything is going to be set back to zero. We want it to stay there for a little bit. We double click here again. And now let's see what's happening. We can undo this one. It starts, stops in the middle and starts again. So it's quite cool, but it's not really organic because it moves at the same speed all the time. So to see the points that we have, we can click here and we can see that we have all of those transformations. So let's say I don't like this because I think this is too long. I can just take my point and move it a little bit that way. Same for this one. And now it moves faster, stops longer and starts again. So this is quite good already, but let's say we're not so happy with it because, well, it's not organic. So what we're going to do here, we can choose to go from one keyframe to another. And let's say we want to go on this one and we can right click here. And then we say is in this one. We're going to is out and let's see how it goes now. So it goes fast, slows down and then starts slow and goes faster. So you see it's more organic already because we have a fast and slow movement that is much better. Now we did this transformation so we can go here, click here and we see that we have a transformation that has been done. So if you don't like it, you can go on this point and you see what it was. And then there is a little handle here and you can change the shape of it. You can even go crazy a little bit like this where it will go much more and then come back. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is a little bit weird, but that's the kind of things you can play with and decide what you want to have. Most of the time, a nice S curve will have the best result. Okay, maybe something like this. No, actually it's too much. But on the way out, it's not bad. So let's change this one again a little bit and try to do it more like that. Okay. So let's try. Yeah, that's much better. Cool. So this is what we can do with PNG, a picture or pretty much any transformation you want to have. The next one, let's do it on a text or oh, subscribe. Yeah, you can also subscribe to the channel. So let's say this one, we're going to try to start it from very small to the normal size. And then we're going to also change the opacity to have it appear on the screen. So what we can do, here we can set it to zero as size, but actually it doesn't work here because here we're on title. So we have to go on settings 
and then here we can do the changes. One of the things we can start by doing is to click here and it's going to apply some keyframes to all of it at once. And then we can change it. So for us, we say zoom and we say we want it at, let's say like this. We don't want to start at zero. We can start very small. Then we go a little bit further and then we can here double click on the zoom and go to size one. We go a little further. We apply one more keyframe and then we go to the end and our final keyframe will be again very small like so so what do we have now start small gets bigger and goes back small so it's not too bad but once again it's not organic so we can go to the next point here right click is in next point right click is out and now how is it okay cool much better we can again look at the points here and at the curve so the curve is like this this time and that's where we have our keyframes. So now I can use those keyframes to do another transformation. Let's say in our case, we want to start from zero opacity and then go to full opacity when we arrive here. And we're gonna see how it goes. So now we can change also our opacity. So what we do, we go on opacity here and we can start by putting a keyframe at the beginning, but we don't want it at 100, but we want it at zero. Then to make it easy, we just click here to go to the next keyframe. And this one, we want the opacity at 100. And the keyframe is red here, so it worked. Next one, we want to keep it at zero. So this time we just need to click to the little diamond. And the final one, we want to go back to zero. And let's see how it went. So we have something much nicer than before. And now we could say, for example, here, let's go here to see the keyframes. We can decide that, for example, starting here, we want to have a rotation. So here, we're going to start here. And then we go to the next one. And then we go on rotation like this. So let's see what happened. It comes in, it turns, and it goes away. So very easy things to do. And once again, if you want, we can change here. So let's say we want this one here. We want this one. And let's see the difference. You see, it started slowly to, to spin and then goes faster and slows again. So it's much more organic and just for a little transformation like this, took a few clicks and it's quite nice. Next one, we're gonna try to see if we can do a color transformation on a clip. You see this one, it's very bad here. It's very bright, it's not so nice, no red at all. And then it goes and it's a little bit better with a little bit more contrast and it changed to the green a little bit. So we're gonna, so we're gonna go on the color page and see what we can do to help it. So here you see we have keyframes as well. Here you have your parade. And here you can click and have keyframes. We're at the very beginning here. So we see corrector one, it's this one. If we had another node, it would be corrector two and so forth. So here, what I want to do is to start a keyframe here. So I put everything in red. So now we can do our correction. Actually, I'm going to go to the parade. It's going to help us. So we want to add red. Maybe we want to get a little bit less green, a little bit less blue. Green down again. Okay, let's see what it is compared to before. Already better. Maybe you want to add some high red. Maybe you want to go down a little bit for more contrast, more darker colors. And uh, maybe remove a little bit blue again. Try to add more red. Here more red as well. We're not so bad compared to before. Uh, it's already much, much better. And one of the final things we can change is here. We can try to change the watercolor and bring it like this to have it more blue. 
and to have a better image. So that's what we have here. So let's try to play it and see how it goes. Now it becomes very red and it's not so good. So we're gonna have to apply keyframes, otherwise our image is gonna go from good to very ugly. So let's try to find a point where it was still good. For example, here. And then we're gonna go to the keyframes and we're gonna set more keyframes. So here we can remove a little bit of red already and you can see that there is a difference between the two points. Let's go a little bit further. Again, too much red. So we can remove some like this in the highlights as well. Again here, but this time we probably have too much green as well. Okay, quite good. Next one, it seems to be the dark red that are too much. Here we go, and red in general, green also. Probably remove some of the lifts, nice. And let's go to the end. We can go up with the lift, down with the red, down with the highlight red, green, and we can actually change the blue as well. So now let's see what we have. So we have something that is much more uniform, even though it's not perfect, but we already have something that is much nicer than what we had. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. And you can also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified with new videos. And by the way, Bali is reopened. So if you want to come see us, I put a link in the description. Bye bye. Happy bubbles.